on our bicycle path with my buddy Dalibor and Adrian. Here in Nantucket, Massachusetts, we are on the Pulpus Road path. This takes you out to a place called Sconset. All through these big, beautiful homes. Look at that, isn't that pretty? I'll shut up and just show you. And my fat ass is doing this. This is like 10 miles. Ow! And I don't do this very often. I don't ride a bike very much. And these guys are like 20 years old and 26. And I'm 40. So you see who's ahead. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day out here anyway. Really, really nice. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this goddamn hill. Fuck, this is what I really hated thinking about this. And I got the world's worst bike, man. I was just in the middle of making a fucking video, and then we had to go up the world's biggest hill. <laughs> I need to get one of those things so I can put this on my hat. Oh, but I did it. Woo! Hope the rest of it's downhill. Anyway, my friends, that's a look at the Pulpus bike path in Nantucket. Oh, you can't see it. There's a really fucking, we've gone quite a ways and I'm really, really tired. Uh, but I want to show you that, but you can't see it. Really cool. It's like a little barn. They've done a lot too. It looks like it's big enough to put like a tractor or something in. I don't know. Or a fire. Fire escape or something. There's Dalibor. There's Adrian. You're not supposed to go out there because it's going to fall down. Oh, there's a seal. See it down there? Yeah. Straight out in front? Yeah. Oh, wow, man. I always thought seals were like in uh, the colder yeah, seals, colder yeah, water yeah, area. Seal. Yeah, I bet you. That's why I wouldn't want to swim in it. Good. I'll take another one. Yeah, one more up a little closer. I don't know what I'm seeing here. Okay, we're headed up to the lighthouse. Beautiful views off this road. Lots of big, beautiful homes out here. You know, and I made it 10 miles on Pulpa's bike path. It wasn't as bad as I thought, you know? And I haven't ridden a bike in years. Last year I did, I rode down Milestone Road from downtown Nantucket to Sconset. Uh, Milestone Road is kind of a flat one. Uh, Pulpus is 10 and a half miles and it's up hills a little bit, but man, it went really nicely. I'm really proud of myself. I'm in a little better shape than I thought from eating all this crap food for so many years. Homes are gorgeous. Such a peaceful, quiet place out here. Lots of little scrubby bushes and really pretty. Here's the lighthouse up here. It's called the Sankety Head Lighthouse here in Nantucket on a beautiful day. June 22nd at about two in the afternoon on a Thursday, my day off. There's a golf course behind us here. Every home has their own little name. That's called Cliffhanger. It's called Against the Wind. What? It's the golf course and the lighthouse. Isn't that beautiful? This is the best looking one here in Nantucket. Ooh. This 
lighthouse they say used to be, right? Where those bricks are right there. And they ended up moving it. Sinkity head. The light's still flashing in there. It's kind of breezy out here, so I'm trying to cover up the, the microphone so you don't hear it too bad. But, this is it. Beautiful place, man. Beautiful day for a bike ride, man. Wow, I'm so proud of myself. Ten and a half miles, who would have thought it for a fat guy like me, man? With some 20-year-olds. Big old lighthouse. It says 1850. We've had light keepers since 1850. So. The wreck of H.P. Kirkman. Dangerous shoals left behind by glaciers light in the east of this spot. On the night of January 29th, 1892, the Rosen Crown Shoal. Wow, that's one of my favorite bars in, in uh, downtown. Became the final resting place at East Peaker, bound for New York. The freight laden schooner from Nova Scotia struck the shoal in a howling winter storm. The lighthouse keeper saw the flames and helped him out, I guess, 50 miles to the east of this lookout point. Wow, interesting. That's it. We made it. Sinkity Head Lighthouse. Okay, we made it to Sconset Beach, and these boys are getting in the water, man. They're crazy. There's little kids. There's a seal. We saw a seal earlier. So that means there's sharks. Was it too cold? Here, I'll take him. <laughs> a lot of people on the beach today. It's probably, I think it's 21 degrees Celsius today is what the temperature said. <laughs> it's beautiful beaches though here really like the sand and everything here is just phenomenal large grains of it man beautiful Beautiful day. I'm trying to decide if I want to take the uh, take the bus back or, or ride another six miles. The other bike passed six and a half miles. I might just take the six and a half mile with because I don't know if I'm uh, ready to do another 10, man, you know? Woo! Too old for that. I should get in that water too, but I, I, I can't swim well. The water is deep and it's cold. I'm, I'm too, too uh, not lively enough to do that right now. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Charles Gather. <laughs> Live from the beach. How is the water? Tell, tell them how the water is, because it, it's today's about what? 21 degrees Celsius. You can't hear it because of the wind, you have to come yeah. closer. Yeah, it's it's like in jacuzzi. <laughs> yeah, right, I bet. It, it's, it's just you have so much good chicks. Actually it's like in Montenegro, hey, I guess. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> take it out of the water and see how it see how it goes. Don't dunk it in, but yeah. take it out and see. Take a picture. Let's jump in the water with that. With sharks? Yeah. You can dive for 15 meters underneath. We got our sexy bodies actually. Yeah, all red. Uh, like, subscribe. White, white, white and black. Uh, like, thank, subscribe. Thank you, bike shop. Thank you, bike shop. <laughs> Let's go in. There's Charles, he, he's being a pussy actually. He says the water is too cold. But actually, actually, the water is cold. <laughs> Should we go underneath? Not, not, not cold enough. <laughs> I just felt it.
do this future, so. Yes? Let me see the knee. What's the name? Well, we're back at it, man. We decided we was gonna ride back again, man. So, once I get through this and get back home, it's gonna be 18 miles, baby, on this bicycle. With those little faggots behind me. So I've done really well, man. I'm proud of myself. Woo! Charles. It's gonna be a healthy son of a bitch. Don't be Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it to New South Road. We have ridden 10, 15, almost 15 miles right now. So stopped here, little water fountain. We're just guessing how much more time we have to get where we're going. And I'm 40, man, and I'm keeping up with these boys. I'm proud of myself. We all know I'm, I'm right. Are you really? Yeah. How much? Four three. and two? Uh, three, I said three and a half. It'll be six. <laughs> Brzo, Wait, it's 5.6 kilometers. Fuck! Still fucking five kilometers.